Hi guys, happy Saturday. This is gonna be a full length um, YouTube video. So let's see what we get for you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Okay, so you're understanding your worth. This came in reverse. In the past you were breadcrumbed. You're now understanding that you do not come into union with anyone that doesn't give you equally. Um, you still have to heal from the past. You know, stop looking at what was lost and look at it from a different perspective. You know, it was meant to teach you self-love. Um, it's a new beginning for you. Um, complete happiness. These are wishes. Um, the divine is saying, we have you. We're going to give you so much love. Love that you've never had before. Um, and it's because of all that you went through, guys. Yeah, they're trying to inspire you to follow your own passions. Um, they want you to get out and be with other people and celebrate. Um, you know, you've been in hermit mode a long time. And you need to get out of that. It's going to bring in a divine partner to give you an offer. Um, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. So the player in the past is going to come in and it's going to cause you confusion. You know where that leads. You know everything they have to offer. Don't let it confuse you. You have a true divine counterpart coming. One that is emotionally giving, that is spiritual, that will support you in all of your um, passions. Um, they're also very passionate for you. I'm going to show you this. They will love you like no one has ever loved you before. I promise you. It's going to happen suddenly, guys. You're not going to expect it when it happens, and you're going to be a little put off. You're going to be like, I don't think this is real because I've never had anything like this before, but it is real, guys. It's real. Look, from this horrible, devastating pain and, and betrayal and rejection, you learn to stand on your own two feet, follow your own passions, be this queen of wands. You know, you don't care anymore what anyone says or thinks about you. You know what's important to you and that's all that matters. That's the energy you need to be in right now. Have strength. This person from the past that made you feel like an option, like your love was not good enough because they were insecure about themselves and they needed to have their options open because they needed to be confident because you weren't on their level and you weren't. They're watching you. They're stuck in their head because they're reliving all the things they did. The divine is saying you're going to have clarity. Truth will come out. Don't let your heart be burdened by this truth. It's going to cause some conflict. But it's not for you to worry about, guys. Let the truth come out and let it go. It, it's not meant to hurt you. It's meant to expose the other person. Look. Truth. The divine is making sure it comes out. This is external conflict. These, This is people around you that are going to, oh, they're going to like be all up in arms about it. But the divine is saying, you know what? You have a new beginning. Take that leap of faith. Because what you have coming is amazing. Yeah, look, you walked away from this, this heartbreak, this feeling of loss, like you lost everything. You walked away from it. What you have coming is a divine partnership, twin flame soulmate. You are going to be standing independent, looking beautiful all on your own, whether you're a man or woman, handsome or beautiful, um, financially secure with, with no one. You don't need anyone, honey. You just don't. I'm going to tell you here. This is what you have coming. Everything you ever desired in a family, in love, uh, security, abundance, support. Um, you know, you were made to feel like an option, right? You went within and you healed. Now, this past person is going to come forward and give you a little offer because they're toxic and they miss you because you were their life. You were their energy. You were everything to them. And they miss it. But... What you have coming in 
fast is a true divine counterpart that is emotionally stable, mature, financially stable. They're all that you desire and wish that you wanted in a relationship but you never had. Keep working on your own financial security. The divine is saying, stop asking, when is my soulmate coming? They don't want you to worry about that right now. They want you to worry about you. Put all of your energy on you and loving you and knowing what you're worth. Knowing how God sees you. You are his baby. You are his child. He does not want you to be in a union with someone that demeans you, that hurts you, that mistreats you, that cheats on you, that lies and manipulates. Your value is so much more than that, guys. Please do the healing. Know your worth. You have balance in your life coming forward. You're going to see things more clearly. You're going to understand what you deserve and what you had in the past. The soulmate coming in will be honest, trustworthy, and loyal, okay? You're coming out as the divine counterpart, which is also standing in her truth, believing in what is right for her, and cutting out people that don't serve her. We don't care. I don't care if they're family. I don't care if they're friends, past loves. You no longer have a use for those people that want to hurt you. Anyone that wants to speak poorly behind your back, that wants to judge you, not worthy of you. They're not worthy of you. Look, this narcissist from your past, you will have victory. The illusions that they like to continually uh, spread and um, confuse you and shroud your judgment. They're going to come forward with an offer, an apology. Moving forward, though, the divine wants you to know you have good things coming. You have a true divine offer of love when you let the past die. When you know that that didn't, did not serve you, that person didn't serve you, that person was not worth you at all, not in any way they weren't worth you. You have complete happiness, okay? <clears throat> you're going to be holding on to your finances. You are, you're building your own empire, but you're also being smart with your money. Um, and the divine is saying, look, whatever endeavor you are inspired to do, do it. It won't go wrong. They are supporting you. They are with you. They will make sure that it is a success. You just have to trust. You have to heal. Um, once again, financial security. You standing in your own power. Nine of Pentacles. This is a lady of luxury or a man of luxury. Not needing another soul. Being confident in who they are. Loving themselves and trusting in God. And God takes care of those that trust. He wants you to stand your empress energy or emperor man or woman it's the empress energy um being grounded and loving and kind but knowing who she is and being confident in who she is and not caring what anyone else says it doesn't matter let them judge let them judge let them speak words let them persecute you there's no bearing on your life what god has to bring you is justice complete justice for all you went through you know what you have coming in is communication. You are the strong warrior. And this is in regards to collaborating with other people. It's a wish fulfillment. It brings wishes, complete happiness, all that you desired. Um, this is not just financial security, but this is emotional security. This is divine love. When you turned your back on the past, away from this heartache, away from this rejection and devastation, being abandoned, away from this player, you found peace. And the divine is saying, we are going to give you abundance because you trusted and you loved us. And you gave love even when it wasn't given back to you. Stay in your Queen of Cups energy because a divine partnership is coming. This is soul union. The lovers. Soul union. Listen to your intuition. You have to love yourself completely. You have to have a full cup before you expect another person to come into union with you. Because if you do not have a full cup and you do not love yourself, um, it won't be successful, guys. I've told you this. It leads to marriage. You're a powerful manifester. Release the burden and this deceiver from the past. Don't let your heart be guarded. And dear God, stop staying up at night. I love you, but you have to stop. You, you sitting and worrying and crying about what happened to you is not fixing anything. You are just lowering your energy. You are giving your power away from that to, to that person that did that to you. It doesn't serve you. You have good karma coming. You guys, I love you. And I want you, 
I want you to listen to these things because they're they're meant to help you. Oh, God love you. Look, I gotta show you this. Look at this. The sun, the happiest card in the deck. I'm gonna read it to you. A time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. Show gratitude because this is what you guys have coming. Complete happiness. Look. This says enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, and patient. News of exciting opportunities. Allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that feel that fuel your passion. F uh, finish what you start. Go after what you are divinely guided to do, guys. It's not just you. It's the divine that is inspiring you um, to do these things, okay? You just need to follow. Listen to your heart and do what it is they are guiding you to do because it's for your greater good. It's for a future that you've never had. You always, always dreamt that you would have. Look for a sign. Within the next few months, you guys are going to see a big change in your life. And this says in the near future. Look. Look for a sign. Within the next few months, in the near future, you need to communicate clearly. This is you coming into union with another person. They want you to stay in your power and have boundaries. They want you to communicate what it is you expect and what you won't tolerate. That's what this means. This is intuitively what this means. This is what I hear. Okay? Don't stop. Keep moving forward. Keep growing. Keep loving you. Keep healing. And stop worrying. Stop staying up at night. You cannot change the past. It happens in divine timing, but it's up to you as to whether you heal and move on. A lot of you are asking, will the X change? It's unlikely. I'm just telling you that. This doesn't resonate for everyone, but for those that are asking, will my ex change? It's unlikely. They want you to ask for help from others. These are people you trust, um, and you know innately who those people are. Yes. They said, yes, you know. Yes, you do know. And they want you to remain positive. Stop with the negative self-talk. Stop reminiscing and rethinking the things that were said to you by this narcissist. You know, if God wanted you to remain in that toxic relationship, he would not have allowed things to go down the way they did. Just remember that. You're meant for greater things. You are meant for divine love. Uh, you are meant for success on your own, by yourself. says forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine this is what i said this whole reading and this card just came out i can't make that up guys it's meant for you to know So this King of Pentacles that had so much power over you, it came in reverse. He holds no more power over you. Um, this is the death card. And look how it came out. It's a beautiful new beginning. It's a rebirth, a new beginning. And you have a new beginning in love, a soul union. That's beautiful, guys. Let the burdens down from the past so that... Divine love can come in, okay? That is meant for you. It won't come until you release the past. You know, do the cord cutting if you need to, okay? Pray to St. Michael to cut that cord so you no longer feel that emotional um, attachment, that energetic attachment that causes you so much pain. You were this person's wish fulfillment, but now they lost it. You know... This is the Knight of Swords. It came in reverse. They, they don't know truth. They can't speak truth. Because it would make them a, um, 
the bad guy. They have to be the victim. They have to be the victim. Yeah. You offered your love. You have so much to offer. You have so much abundance coming, you know, balance in your life. When you understand um, what you went through was for a reason and it was to teach you to love you, you um, are able to release that pain and work on healing why you are codependent. And it brings such balance in your life, guys. Um, I hope this helps you guys. I love you so much. Hope you have a great Friday night. Good night.